Good evening everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle by a new setter. This is Dariom, and I believe that is the pronunciation. I have no way of knowing if it's right or not. Um, this, I believe, is Dariom's first puzzle, um, and this was a recommendation made to me, um, and yeah, I was told that this would be a nice little coffee break puzzle, so um, yeah, looking forward to doing it. Um, updates. You may have noticed on the channel, everything is chaos right now. I'm releasing videos out of order in which they were recorded. Everything is just an absolute bleh. Um, I'm just trying to keep things running. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff that was recorded before I went away. I've got a bunch of stuff that uh, I, I'm just dropping them. So trying to give updates or anything at the moment is just a complete and utter nightmare. I'm recording this over a week before you're going to see it. Um, but I've looked at some of the videos that are coming out and everything. I don't know. I may get hit by a bus tomorrow. I just do not know what's going on. Um, I'm still sick. I'm not as bad as I was a few days ago. Um, I'm trying to stay on top of everything that I need to get done. Um, but yeah, everything is just complete chaos right now. Um, so all I'm focusing on right now is trying to do some puzzles and having a puzzle in the queue from someone, this is their first puzzle. I've no idea if they've done more since then. I think this has been in the queue for a few weeks and then you won't see it for a week. And I don't know. Let's have a look at custom title. Do not adjust your sets. That's the title of the puzzle by Dario. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row and in every column, um, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have thermos. Along thermos, digits must strictly increase from the bulb end to the dip end. Quadruples. Digits placed in um, or in the digit numbers in um, the circles must be placed at least once in the four cells touching that circle. XV pairs. Cell separated by a V must sum to 5. Cell separated by an X must sum to 10. Not all X's and V's are necessarily given. Digits killer. Digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. Um, and arrow. Digits on arrows must sum to the digit in that arrow circle. They're the rules. Um, apparently this is a coffee break puzzle. I will find out. I'm still not thinking 100%. We'll, sign. we'll see. Restart of the puzzle. Restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So we know V clues. These must be one, two, three, and four. One, two, three must go here. So this is a four and this is a one. And we know two and three is in here. This can't be two or three because it's four cells along a thermo. So this is a two, three pair. Great. This is at least a five now. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is absolutely forced. Five, six, seven, eight eight and nine and this becomes the eight nine and i know the order because of the eight nine we placed because of the thermo okay that's a nice beginning um this is a four the only way to make up four is with one and three or with two twos so we know that we've got a two three pair here Okay, this now, on an X, you must have a high and a low digit because you can add one to nine, two to eight, three to seven, four to six. You can't add five to five. And after that, you're just reversing. Six to four is the same as four to six. So one of those digits must be one, two, three, four. I cannot put one, two, three, or four there. This must be six or seven because it can't be eight or nine, which means this must be two or three. And I've got, uh, sorry, what am I talking about? Three or four. Um... Yeah, two or three. I was I was hoping for another two, three pair. I don't have another two, three pair. Don't try and force it. Um, this is a nine cage. I don't know if that's getting me anything. Um, 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 five is in one of those two. Uh, this is another X clue. Yeah, not sure about that one. Now, in this column, we have all of the digits from 1 to 9. If you add those together, you get 45. There are many reasons for this, but just adding them together, 45. That math. Um, if you subtract 35, which are the contents of that cage, you are left over with 10. So we know that the sum of those two cells there is 10. But these two cells also sum to 10. So those are the same digit. But... Well, hang on. Another thing we've got is this 29 cage. Now, 
four digits. The maximum you could put into four cells that cannot repeat is six, seven, eight, nine. If you add six, seven, and eight, nine together, you get 30. So I must reduce one of those digits by one. But the only digit I can reduce by one without forcing a duplication is the six. Because if I reduce the nine by one, I end up with six, seven, eight, eight. I've got two eights. If I reduce the eight, I have six, seven, seven, nine. Doesn't work. Reducing the seven, I get six, six, eight, nine. Doesn't work. I have to reduce the six and I end up with five, seven, eight, nine in there. So this, well, the minimum here is two. So it's two, three, four, can't be two, three, four or six. Wait, wait a minute, but this is four, six, because I have to put a high digit on an X for exactly the same reason I did up here, but seven, eight, nine is in here. So this is four, six. So these are one, two, three, because I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are one, two, three. So these are one, two, three. Three must be up here because of this one, two, three triple. So there's no three down here and I can't put one in this arrow. This is a two. There's no two here. This is a one, three pair, making that the two. To get to four, this is another two. And these this arrow has to sum to two. So they're both one and this is a three. That's very cool. Now, this had to sum to 8. Uh, t sorry, these have to sum to 10. These have to sum to 10. So this is an 8. And these two have to sum to 10. So that is a 2. And I can get rid of the coloring on that now. This is a nice little coffee break puzzle. Now, this can't be 1, 9 or 2, 8. Well, I can take... Uh, even better. I can take the 2, 3 off here now. This is 1, 4. No, it's not quite even better. But this can't be 1, 9 or 2, 8. So it's either 3, 7. And if it's 3, 7, the 3 goes here with the 7 here because of that. And if it's 4, 6, the 4 goes here and the 6 goes here. So they're the only possibilities. There's no 8 here. Now, these have to sum to 7 because I've already got two in the nine cage. Well, they're not one, six, they're not two, five. So these are three, four. The three here means that that's not, that's a four and that's a three. That puts a three down here. Oh, this two makes this three and this two, which puts three in one of those two. One, oh, this is a one, three pair because one and three and one and three mean one and three have to be down here, but the one, three looks down. This is a one, three pair. I've got to put five, six, seven, and nine in those. Not sure. Okay, so there's something else going on by Sudoku. And I don't know what it is. Five is here. Three is in one of those two. Oh, three, three can't be there. So three is in one of those two. So three here is here. So this is, right. This could never have been three because of the quadruple. This is four, this is six. So these are one, two, three, four, five, seven, and nine. There's no five there. There's no nine there. Oh, I can't put five in those because of the quadruple. Seven, nine, five, taking five out of those. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. The four looks up making that one and that four. That cell can't be one, it can't be two because two, one, zero can't be three, can't be four, can be five or seven only. So this has to be higher than five, it can't be six, seven. So this is eight or nine. This has to be lower than seven, it can't be six. So it's five, it can't be four or three. So it's five or two. And this is one, two, it can't be three, four. Uh, so this is a one. That's just a one. So one is in one of those two. That's very strange. So what are these? Two, three, five, and seven. So this is a five, seven. 
and this is a two three pair and I know the order because of that two that's the three that's the two that puts three in one of those two. Oh, eight and eight. Eight is in one of those, but that eight knocks it out of there, and that's not an eight. That's an eight. So there's no eight there. Eight is in one of those two. So what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Well, there's no nine there. This is a nine. Taking nine out of those, that becomes a nine. Takes nine out of all of those. Nine is looking up in that column. But these are five, six, and seven. One is in one of those two. Oh, this is a one, two pair for the same reason as I had the one, three pair at the bottom. So this is a one, two pair. And I know the order because of that two. So this is the one, this is the two. The one looks down making this the three and this the one. The three looks up making that the four, which by X makes that the six. And I end up with a five, seven pair. This is one, this is now a three. And I've got pairs in these columns. One, two, three, four, and seven. And the four here makes that the seven and that the four. The seven looks back making that the nine. I can take nine out of there. By this row, one, two, three, four, five, six. This box needs a five, which takes five out of both of those, making that the five, and I've got a seven, eight pair. The four also looks across, making that the six and that the four. Five is still in one of those two. Three is still in one of those two. Is it this quadruple? One, two, three, four. I've got to put a five in here. Seems to be able to go anywhere. Six, seven, eight. All I know is nine is in one of those two. Where is nine in this column? Can't put it in those three. That nine knocks out that one. That nine knocks out that one. And I can't put it partway along a thermo. That is a nine. So this is 257. There is a digit I haven't placed here. There's an 8 in one of those two, and the 8 means it's not there. That's the 8, and this is from 257, but it's not 7. So there is a 7 on this thermo, and it's there, which means that's the 5, that's the 7. But the 5 in here means that's not the 5. That's the 2, that's the 5. That's really nice. 4 is in one of those two. Five, six, oh, this is a four, six pair by Sudoku. So one, two, three, four, five, six. These are an eight, nine, and I'll use that nine to make that the eight and that the nine. The eight looks down, making that the seven and that the eight. This, the nine says that's not the nine. This is the nine in this row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight. So one, two, three, four, five, and seven go in those. Okay, something needs to break this open. I need to put a two in one of, oh, okay, yeah, two in this row. So two is in one of those two, but that two knocks it out of there. So this becomes a two. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, five, and eight. There's a five and an eight here. So this is the one. So I can take one out of there and both of those. The eight makes that five and that eight. So what have I got here? One, two, I need to put a three in one of those two. Okay, I need to put a four in one of those two. I need to put a six yeah, somewhere, and I need to put a seven with the four. So this is a four, seven pair. So the three goes here, which means this is the six, which means that's the four and that's the six, which means that's the seven and that's the four. That three takes three out of there, making that the three. This row means that's the six. This is now a one five pair. And the one here means that's the five. That's the one. The five looks up, making that the seven and that the five. The seven looks down, making that the six and that seven. And that's the correct solution. 11 minutes, 46. A really nice little coffee break puzzle. Um, yeah, Dariom had posted this one to Logic Masters Germany. It was recommended to me and I'm glad it was. That was a really nice interaction. Now, I've said this before uh, of all of the constraints. Now, I've said this before. If you're a new setter, 
and Dario probably doesn't even know that my channel exists. But if you're a new setter, I did exactly the same thing, sort of. Um, playing around with too many constraints at once. It seems attractive, and it can be really nice when it's well done. And this was quite well done. I think this was a really nice puzzle. But I think you learn more as a setter by focusing in on one or two constraints at a time. Um, and the way I did it, and that's by no means the only way to do it, is I picked a constraint and then I explored that constraint and the way it interacted with other constraints. And I learned a lot about the constraint I picked, and then I learned a little bit about the other constraints. And then I moved on to another one, which was one of the constraints I'd interacted with the first one. And then I focused on that and I mixed that with other ones. And I was doing basically one or two constraints at a time. And I learned a lot about the fundamentals of the way those constraints worked. When I was setting puzzles like this early on, which had a bunch of constraints that I thought would do a cool thing, I wasn't learning... I, I knew how to solve the constraints, but I wasn't learning how to set with those constraints. Um, now, this is a great puzzle. I enjoyed it. It was a great little coffee puzzle, uh, coffee break puzzle, and I think it's, I think it's really good. But... As a setter, I will always recommend to, when you're first starting out, try setting try setting yourself limits when you set. Try turning around and said, I want to set a puzzle with using, what I did was the diagonal constraint. I want to set a puzzle using the diagonal constraint and something else. Um, and my first one was diagonal thermo. Then I did diagonal arrow, which actually got featured on CTC. It was my first ever feature. Then I did diagonal German whisper, which I think also got featured. Then I did diagonal killer. And yeah, I was just mixing things up. And because of that, when I started setting with quadruples, I was able to do a really nice diagonal quadruple puzzle, which, and it was because I understood diagonals a bit better. And as I was exploring quadruples, I was able to mix those together. Now, this isn't supposed to be a rant. This was a really cool little puzzle. I'm going to stop ranting now, but it is, whenever I come across a new setter who's done this, I feel it's important to say, really nice puzzle, because it is. If it wasn't, I, I would... Yeah, I don't know. But this is a really nice puzzle. But always try and figure out what you want to learn as a setter. I enjoyed this one. This was a good one. Custom title. Sure. Um, I, I, I think giving a puzzle's titles is a good thing to do rather than calling them something in a number as well, because when someone refers back to it, you know what you're talking about. If you've just got Killer Puzzle 212 and someone says, oh, I loved Killer 212 rather than, oh, but Killer 209 was better, you'll never remember them. But if your puzzles have names, you will be able to associate. <sighs> Sorry, I'm obviously feeling a little bit better. I'm in rant mode. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.